Hello, um, it's the first YouTube video I've ever uploaded. Um, I feel that uh, I need to do this to sort of try and get myself a bit of help and get some feedback and get some comments and then hopefully share my experience to help others also as well. Um, you're probably wondering what addiction I've got because I have put fighting addiction um, within the title. Um, so let me just start off by saying something off the top of my head. I'm going to go through my journey from start to finish. Um, and as I said, um, hit that subscribe button. I'll be uploading regular videos um, for the journey, which I'm going to be um, starting from today. Um, but I'm going to also start from the beginning so you can give me some feedback and where I've probably gone wrong and hopefully other people who've got addiction um, can get some advice off me and help their addiction as well we could do it together as one because it doesn't matter what addiction you've got if it's drugs if you're a shopaholic if you're a gambler if you're always out on a night out every single weekend if you're you know if you're as I said alcoholics and stuff like that but mine is gambling and what is a gambling addict an addict is a person who loathes their own self-pity whose temptations and greed is their number one priority a gambling addict is selfish just like myself who, when they're really down in the dumps, wants the world to revolve around them and really thinks they deserve for that to happen. A gambling addict would rather feed their addiction than feed their family financially. A gambling addict would financially support their addiction than support their family. They would ne neglect everything that family life means. Going out, booking holidays, taking my kid to cinema, um, taking him to the park, just taking him to the shop because I just want to see how this bet is going to go on. Um, and if that bet loses, I'll take you to the shop in five minutes because I've put another bet, but that bet ends up taking half an hour. I'll lose it and then I'm putting another bet. And before I know it, my son's in bed and he's not gone to the shop and it was four hours ago when I've told him. But that's what a gambling addiction's like. It just consumes you. It just really, really does consume you. And, you know, you realise you've got a problem you don't want to admit it to yourself until you're really, really rock bottom. And even when you're rock bottom, you you want to blame other people for it. You want to blame, oh, 90th minute goal. You want to blame they just needed one more point. You want to blame that they shouldn't have let me in. You wanted to blame that the odds changed as I was putting a bet on, so they shouldn't have took it and they should have suspended it. You want to blame everything apart from yourself. So I'm here to te today, sorry, um, just to sort of put my hands up and say where I find myself now and the position I find myself in with my family not here no more, with me struggling financially, with me putting myself into debt, borrowing money just so I could gamble, is not the person who I borrowed the money from. Uh, it's not my um, ex-partner's um, fault that she's left. It's my fault. I have to put my hands up and, uh, and admit to it. Um, but ultimately, it's an addiction. Um, I'm to blame for all the consequences, but when you're gripped with an addiction, then in some ways it sounds a bit strange, but the addiction is to blame because the addiction is stronger than you. And when it gets to the point of the addiction being stronger than you and that addiction is in control of you, then it's like fighting, I don't know, it's like me fighting Anthony Joshua. I'm not going to stand a chance, but a hundred times if I fought him, there might be a time where I can get to that point of where I'm nearly beat him, but I might not. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to that hundred fight where Anthony Joshua's beat me 99 times and now I'm going to beat him this time. Because that's basically what a gambling addiction's like. Um, and as I said, any other addiction. So I'm going to upload uh, another video and start off from how I got into gambling um, and looking back how the pattern of my states got higher and the more I gambled, the more I lost, obviously. But there would have been triggers in between that caused that um, and the philosophy of gambling uh, in my mind and why I thought I was going to become a millionaire overnight, which is almost impossible even if you literally want every single bet you put on uh how long is it going to take you to become a millionaire unless you're getting really 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 lucky and even then it's not going to happen so as i said please hit that subscribe button um and i will be uploading videos and this is just the start of the journey and i just want 
and hope that there's people out there who I can help and give advice because I'm so positive that I'm going to change my life around that I want everyone to jump onto my journey um, and if there are people who have been in my position and changed their lives around please comment below please send me an email I'll leave it in the link below as well um, and yeah let's just fight this addiction together it doesn't matter mine's a gambling addiction yours could be an, um, drinking alcohol someone else as I said could be going out shopping every single day for pointless stuff just because they love to buy stuff but an addiction ultimately is an addiction and it doesn't matter what addiction you're into it's still an addiction and it still has the same philosophies and psychology working in the background um, as to why you've got into that addiction it, you you know you might have come from different backgrounds it might have been different triggers but once that addiction grips you it still works in the same way you will still think in the same way you want to stop but you carry on um, you know you're pushing yourself away from not doing it but there's something in the back of your head telling you you should do that's an addiction once it gets to you at that point then ultimately there's no turning back until you actually recognize that you're addicted and you have an addiction and you really need help um, and whether that's speaking to family if that's not good enough professional help even by getting professional help it might not stop your addiction but ultimately you do not want to destroy your whole life and live your whole life going through an addiction um, like I have been because in the last five years it's completely destroyed my life um, to the point of financially I've crippled myself where ultimately if I did not start gambling I would be in such a good position now such a good position I've worked hard all my life I've worked hard for the last five years especially I've put in so many shifts I've put in so much overtime and it was for my family but ultimately the gambling took control of me it took grip of me and it, I've, I've lost everything I'm in a silent house at this moment of time I'd usually hear my son running around. I'd usually have my girlfriend there, probably, you know, without being sexist, cooking some food. It's a nice hot day, calling me down, having a beer with her, having a drink, and then, you know, basically settling down for the night before I go back to work tomorrow. But I'm all alone in this house, no money. I can't go out of the house. I've got no money to spend. I can't even go to the shop and buy myself a drink. Um, and it's just embarrassing. And I'm not that person. I have too much pride, but the gambling took my pride away. It completely destroyed my pride. It completely destroyed my self-respect. Um, it completely destroyed my family and my attention to my family. Um, and, you know, I don't blame my partner from going. And hopefully I can change my life around. And we can resume where we were five years ago and carry on. Because I've never wanted my partner to go. Because um, I love her. But the gambling grip me that much that I was more in love with gambling than I was with her and that has to change and I want everyone who's watching this video if you're watching it you've probably come here because you've got some form of addiction um, to change with me and we take as I said take this journey as one because it's